Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time now. It's been really, really requested as well. We are talking about my holy grail makeup products, like my favorite makeup products of all time. I'm gonna go in each category, like my favorite foundation, my favorite concealer, my favorite blush, my favorite highlight. And this specific video is only talking about drugstore holy grail products. So these are products that you can get at the drugstore and they are my ultimate favorites. It's really hard to narrow down, especially me that I have a YouTube channel and this is kind of like my job and my hobby and I'm always collecting makeup and I'm always trying new things. I have so many products in each category, like in my makeup collection, that it's really hard to narrow it down. So the fact that I picked out a specific product in each category says a lot about these things. These are my favorite, 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 favorite products. So I'm gonna start with face products and the first category is primer. And I really do like the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer, but when I sat down and I looked at all of my drugstore primers, this is just the one that I use the most. This is the NYX Angel Veil vale Skin Perfecting Primer. In my opinion, this is the best drugstore primer. It feels really, really silky on your skin. It's kind of like a mixture between a moisturizer, but then it's like a silicone -y primer. It's I don't know how to explain it. It feels like velvet. It makes makeup apply so much easier on top of it. It's a great base for foundation and it makes my makeup last longer. So my next category is foundation and I'm someone who really, really loves drugstore foundations. Maybelline Fit Me. I really like the Revlon Color Stay for dry skin. That was like my ultimate favorite drugstore foundation since I started my channel. But if I'm gonna be completely honest, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum is my favorite. You cannot get this at the drugstore in the States, but I believe you can get this at the drugstore like overseas. But if you are in the States, you can purchase this on Amazon. This is where I bought it. I have mine in the shade 52 Vanilla. It's the foundation I'm wearing on my face right now. It gives you buildable coverage. It's sheer to medium coverage, and it just looks so dewy and fresh, but it doesn't feel like super tacky and greasy. It's just a beautiful finish. It lasts a really, really long time on my skin. For concealer, there was no competition, no questions. I love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's my favorite drugstore concealer. I don't think I've ever found a concealer. I love more than this. And this does not cake up. It looks so fresh and beautiful. It has really, really great coverage. I do like a lot of drugstore concealers as well, but this one for sure is my favorite. Okay, so when it comes to powder, if we're strictly talking drugstore powder, I have to talk about the Maybelline Fit Me. It doesn't emphasize dry patches. It doesn't look like I'm wearing powder when I wear this. I have mine in the shade 135 Creamy Natural. This is what I use to set my under eye concealer. I used it today. But honestly, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I would save my money and purchase the RCMA No Color Powder. This is only $10. I know this is a drugstore video and this is not a drugstore product, but it is a drugstore price. $10 and you get so much. It ends up being more affordable than powders at the drugstore if you think about it. So my next category is bronzer and there was no competition here. My all time favorite is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. Bronzer, I have mine in the shade medium to dark. Physicians Formula makes the best bronzers at the drugstore. This is my opinion, but they are so creamy, so blendable, so buttery. I never get patchiness with bronzers from Physicians Formula. They're just really high quality. I feel like I'm putting on a high-end bronzer. This is the bronzer I have on my face today. I just used a little bit to just warm up my complexion. If you guys are wondering, um, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which is also like an all-time favorite bronzer from the drugstore, they're very similar. This one is a little bit warmer. This one is a little bit more neutral. I really love Physicians Formula bronzers. They're so good. So, <sighs> blush was kind of a hard category for me. I didn't know which one to choose. I have two right here, and I'm just gonna show both of them to you because I love them both the same. They're both my favorite. I really could not pick one. And the first one is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I know you've heard about this. I know you have. Everybody talks about this and it's like everybody's favorite, but for a reason, it's a beautiful, glowy, peachy pink blush. This is the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It just gives your face life. You dust a little bit of Luminoso on your cheeks and it's like you're fresh and young and youthful. I love it. And then my other favorite has to be the e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Blush in Sweet Retreat. I've used this a ton. It's a really neutrally pinky color. Really pretty, it goes with so many looks. These blushes, the mineral blushes are so creamy and buttery, like, 
Oh my god, they feel so good. Like, they're so good. <clears throat> okay, so my favorite highlight from the drugstore is the highlight that's on my face. Right now, it's been my favorite since I started my channel, since I discovered it. This is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip in Miami Strip. They have a bunch of different shades. Miami Strip is my favorite. Not because I'm like from Miami or anything. I just really like this one. I only use the first three strips right here because the other ones are like bronzers. I'll rarely use like the gold strip on its own. I always mix it in with the pink one. This could possibly be my favorite highlight of all time. High end and low end. Like that's how, that's how much I love this. I don't use it as much as I used to on my channel because I'm always, you know, using different highlights and loving different highlights. Highlights is like my favorite thing in the world. But this bad boy is ride or die. A lot of people don't like it because of the stiff formula, but you have to get like kind of like a scratchy brush and really like mix it up in there to kind of get like that weird hard layer off. But once you do that, it's so, I mean, I love it. Okay, so let's talk about eyeshadow primer. I have to say that I've tried a lot of eyeshadow primers. The e.l.f. one I liked for a while. I really love the Jessie's Girl one, but after discovering this one, this one has to be my favorite. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. It's really similar to Too Faced Shadow Insurance and the Primer Potion by Urban Decay. It reminds me a lot of those. I highly recommend this Milani one if you want your eyeshadows to last longer. This is a great one. But I have to talk about this. This is the NYX Glitter Primer. This is my favorite glitter primer ever. It's better than the e.l.f. one. and It's a little bit more expensive. It's a few dollars more, but it's better. It's better than the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I love it so much more. This makes pigments look beautiful. I'll usually just apply this to like the center of my lid and then apply like a pigment or a glitter on top. Amazing. I highly recommend this. Okay, so eyeshadows. I have two palettes to share with you. I'm going to share with you my favorite eyeshadow palettes. If you want to see my all-time favorite drugstore single shadows, leave me a comment down below and I'll do a whole video on my favorite single shadows from the drugstore. So let's just talk about my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I know I've tried out really great ones recently and the Milani one is amazing, but if I'm really going to talk about my favorite favorite and the ones that I've used for so long and that I love so much, it's going to be this guy right here. And this is the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte Palette. This you can't get like at Walgreens or anything, but they do sell Sonia Kashuk at Target in the drugstore section. This palette is pricier than a normal drugstore palette. This is $20, but you do get 12 eyeshadows. So if you think about it, that's it's not that bad. I love this palette. It's completely matte. You can use this with any palette. You have your perfect crease shades, no matter your skin tone, because they have lighter ones, they have darker ones, it has a really great black. And my other favorite, and funny enough, it's just a completely shimmery palette, it's the Prism Eyeshadow Palette by e.l.f. I have mine in the shade Naked. I have all of them, but Naked is hands down my favorite. I think it's the best one. This is what it looks like. It's a completely metallic palette. What makes me so crazy about this palette is I use a lot of Fix Plus with eyeshadows. Like if you watch a lot of my tutorials, I'm always spraying Fix Plus on my brush because it, the, Fix Plus intensifies eyeshadows. This is a palette that you don't need to Fix Plus. I mean, sometimes I will use it with this, but you don't need to. It, these shadows are that pigmented, that metallic, that beautiful, and it makes me sad that I don't hear much about this palette because I think it's one of the best at the drugstore. So my next category is eyeliners. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guess for a second. What is my favorite eyeliner at the drugstore? If you guess the NYX Trejoli, <laughs> I try really hard to say that. <laughs> Gel pencil liners, you are correct. These are my favorite, favorite eyeliners of all time but especially from the drugstore. I have mine in the shade brown, and this one is called Pitch Black. I don't think they make other colors. I wish they would. If they do, leave me a comment down below because I need to go pick them up. I think these are amazing. They're super pigmented. They last all day on my waterline, and they don't fade throughout the day, and they're just so creamy, and I love them. For mascara, this one was a little bit tricky. I... I love drugstore mascaras. You can find amazing mascaras at the drugstore. My favorite one that I've been using, you guys know, is the Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. This isn't a drugstore product, but it is a very, very affordable brand. So this Extra Sculpt Mascara might be my favorite mascara in the universe. That's a big statement. But when I sat down and I looked at all the mascaras I currently own, 
These have to be my favorite. I really could not decide. I love the Jordana Best Lash Extreme because it's very volumizing and very, very, very inexpensive. I believe this is a $3 mascara. You can get Jordana at Walgreens. But I also really love the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. It makes my lashes look so long and like dramatic. Really, really love these. You guys know the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner is my favorite. The shade black, I don't like the colorful ones in this range, but the black one is amazing. It is pretty much an exact dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Pretty much exact dupe and more affordable. You can find this eyeliner at Rite Aid or on the Jessie's Girl Cosmetics website. Love this. So black, so long wearing, so fabulous. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about brows really quick. My favorite brow whiz from the drugstore is the NYX one. I know that the L'Oreal one is getting a lot of hype, and that one is really, 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 really good. But I just love the NYX one more. There's something about it. It's a little bit creamier. I really love it. I don't think my eyebrows have ever, have ever looked so bad. Ever. In ever. I'm trying to let them grow out. I'm trying to let them get, like, really bushy so that I can reshape them. But it's getting really difficult. <laughs> They're just getting so bushy that it's hard for me to fill them in and ignore those other hairs that are just like all over the place. I'm gonna have to do them soon because I can't I can't do this whole like let your eyebrows grow and then reshape them thing. They're getting they're getting super bushy. But anyway. That's besides the point. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette is my favorite little brow whiz at the drugstore. I love it. And my favorite eyebrow gel of all time, of all time, is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. I have mine in the shade light to medium. This is the best brow gel in my opinion. I find that it makes my eyebrows like stay in place. It's pigmented. It gives them a little bit of thickness. So good. Okay, and then the last category is lips. So my favorite lip liners from the drugstore are the Jordana Easy Liner for lips. These are so good. They're very, very creamy. They're retractable, which I really appreciate. I love a retractable lip liner. And they're like $2. They're so inexpensive. Even for drugstore prices, they're a lot cheaper than most products at the drugstore. This one is in the shade Tawny. I have a this one is in the shade Tawny. I have a bunch of different colors, but they just glide on and then they set and they stay on my lips all day. I love them so much. <gasps> and now for lipstick, I actually have like a favorite drugstore lipstick, but I'm going to talk about another lipstick first. When you ask me like, what are the best lipsticks at the drugstore quality wise, like formula, I'm going to say the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. They are my favorite like of a whole, they are my favorite lipsticks at the drugstore, hands down. This one is in the shade Clay Crush, and this is the lipstick that I am wearing. They are matte because you can see it's a matte lipstick, but they feel so comfortable. I barely feel like I'm wearing any lipstick. They go on so creamy and buttery and not drying at all. My favorite lipstick of all time, this is gonna be so random. I know I've mentioned it in the past on my channel, but it is the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick in the shade Stormy Pink. This is what it looks like. I believe this is like my second Stormy Pink and I'm like halfway through this. I used to wear this to work every single day when I first started my channel and I worked at the next, I wore this to work like every day because it is loud, but it's not too loud. I used to just apply like a really light layer and it just gave my face some life because I would do very minimal makeup to work and then this just little pop of color on my lips, I loved it. I wore it all the time. I just love Stormy Pink. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These are my holy grail drugstore products in each category. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below what your favorite drugstore product is like of all time. Of all your drugstore products, which one is it that you cannot live without? And if I don't have it, I'm definitely going to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.